Yeah, this won't interest any of you. <laughs> what are you doing here anyway? <laughs> Stalking me. <laughs> Cliff. Uh, this is my very expensive uh, rab down sleeping bag. Uh, obviously when I was uh, camped outside the Tavistock during the... Uh, the hottest summer on record, I didn't use it as a sleeping bag. Uh, I used it as a cover. Uh, but more recently it's got cold at night, so I've used it as a sleeping bag by zipping it up. Uh, and in the middle of the night, I turned over and I heard rip. Uh, on inspection the next day, I noticed that uh, there was this thread here. Probably can't see that. Uh, and the stitching has gone here in this baffle. Uh, you can feel the stitching on all the others. You can feel the stitching. Uh, you can feel the stitching there. Uh, the stitching has gone there. You can feel it there. You can feel it there. Stitching's gone there. Stitching's gone there. Uh, not very happy about that. Um, very thin thread that is. They've got in there. Uh, and that is my bed. Because <laughs> uh, of my situation. Uh, so I spent a lot of money getting a nice bed. Something that's quality. That I didn't think would let me down. But it's let me down very, very quickly. Uh, now I've got options. Uh, I had a conversation with Rab. Not a very helpful one. Um, apparently I've got to take a photograph of the issue and send it to them uh, and then I can send it away for repair uh, and they'll repair it but they, they usually have a waiting list for repair you know so it might take two months or three months for me to actually get the bag back and then I don't know where I'll be in two or three months um, and also I might be in a tent in the <laughs> in a park or outside the BBC or uh, outside the Tavistock or somewhere um, so it means I'll have no uh, sleeping bag in winter if I send it away to them to get it repaired which means I'll have to buy another sleeping bag and uh, winter sleeping bags are quite expensive and then when I get my rab bag returned I'll have two sleeping bags <laughs> expensive sleeping bags of course, obviously, I'd give one to a homeless person. I don't know why people aren't doing that more often. Everybody's got sleeping bags they don't use, stuck up in the loft or in a shed somewhere or in a garage, doing absolutely nothing. They're probably never going to use that sleeping bag again. Uh, and there's people, homeless people, I've seen on the streets with the, uh, with the world's worst sleeping bags. Usually soaking wet, flat as a pancake, ain't keeping anything very warm. Um, do a good day today. Dig out that sleeping bag you ain't using anymore. Go and give it to a homeless person. Or somebody in need. Uh, anyway, I don't know what to do about this now. I'm probably not going to return it to Rab. Um, I've got a decision to make. Uh, anyway... Not impressed with uh, the stitching on the inside of this bag. Apart from that, lovely bag. Uh, it weighs a ton. It weighs like more than a tent. It weighs about five pounds and it don't pack down very small. Um, they've used nice materials in all of it, apart from the stitching it seems, which is um, even just feeling it. It's just very thin, easily snaggable. You know, you've got a broken fingernail or something, you're going to catch it in there. Uh, and maybe pull it, you know, snap the thread. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, apart from that, though, it's very warm when it's cold. Nice, great. Just the stitching, a very cheap component. 
<laughs> has let the whole thing down. Said so I'd do a review, that's an honest review. Uh, thanks very much.